So I thought I'd finish this up via a video because it's a little e easier to explain using words. So over here on the left, you can see the um, triangular pyramid. We have the slant height being 12. We have that edge at 15 and we have the bottom length, which we already found, which is 18. All right, now I've drawn a yellow line, which represents the height right down, down through the center of this shape. And an orange line connecting that yellow line, which should be right at the center of that triangle to the edge, creating another white triangle with that blue line, which is 12 units representing the hypotenuse and the yellow line and the orange line representing the two legs. I have then recreated that base triangle right in the center of your screen. And I've drawn some lines, cutting it into some smaller triangles. The red line and the orange line represent the same red line and orange line as in the three-dimensional figure. We can see that half of that red length is nine units. We need to find the orange length. Now, the way that we do this is because in drawing my lines and cutting this into a smaller triangle or rather six smaller triangles, I have created six, 90, six 30, 60, 90 degree triangles, which are special triangles, right? When we have our, this is an uh, equilateral triangle, the angles were all 60 degrees. When I cut each angle in half, when I bisected the angles, I made them all 30 degrees. So these are 30, 60, 90. The nine represents the side that in our special 30, 60, 90 rules would be x times the square root of three. Recall that x is the length of the smallest leg, which is that orange line. That's what we need to find. In order to do this, we're gonna set up an equation. x, nine is equal to x times the square root of three, right? That's the special length for the longer leg in a special 30, 60, 90 triangle. All right, now we're going to solve for x. x is the orange length in our special triangle. All right, we move the root 3 to the other side by division. Now we need to simplify because we don't like radicals in the denominator. Okay, we multiply the top and the bottom by root 3 to simplify. The bottom simplifies to 3. And now we can divide 9 by 3 and we get 3 over 1. So 3 root 3 is x. All right, that is the length of the orange line. Now we can finally set up for ourselves our Pythagorean theorem. So we are gonna set up an equation that is 12 squared, that's the hypotenuse, is equal to unknown quantity squared, we'll call that x, or, well, you know, it will totally be less confusing. Let's call it y. We'll give it another name. y squared. That is our height. That's the yellow line. That's what we don't know and what we need to find out. Plus 3 root 3 squared. That's the orange line. That is another leg of the right triangle that we're going to use. All right. We set that up. That is our equation that we need to find. We simplify this, 12 squared, of course, equals 144. So 144 is y squared, is equal to y squared, and three times the root of three squared is equal to 27. Okay. Now, 144 subtract 27, do some simple math, is, oh, shush, is 117. I did that on my calculator, I know. I don't feel like doing it in my head right now. So we have 117 is equal to y squared. So the square root of y, of, excuse me, the square root of 117 the square root of 117 should be the length of the yellow line, which is our height. That last thing we're going to find.